Hello everyone. Here we are going to learn about the running Redis instance locally using the Dockerized container. For the learners who are interested to learn about the Redis store and to communicate with it using a sample server side application, it is the best and ideal choice to use the Dockerized Redis container because Docker we no need to install physical software regarding the applications here we only fetch the virtual files from the server like like as simple as pulling a git repository so it is the ideal choice is used the dockerized container coming to the redis redis is a cache storage where used by the server side application to increase their performance to rapidly access the data in a more efficient manner. So the beginners who are interested to understand the Redis or communicate with your sample application by running the Redis, it is the best choice to use the Dockerized container. So if you don't have any prior knowledge on Docker, please follow the steps we are going to explain in this video so docker is a open source software the main two technologies to remember here is image and the container docker provides all software as an image nothing but a virtual files where will will be used and run in our application any application provided with docker we can call it as image then that application pulled into our local system and uh, run them using their respective commands on running that image is called container so these two technologies we are going to use more frequently so please keep remember them so first is first we need to download the desktop docker application because it will be it, it has to be installed so to do that just go to google search and uh, you can type as docker download where you can find a link for this docker downloads where based on your system operating system you can download the desktop application mine is Windows, so I am here. Here, I am going to use the Docker, Docker desktop installation. So I have already since I have already installed. I am not again clicking the download. Once you download, please install it. Once you have installed it, you can see the Docker application up and runs as like this. If you want, you can close this application because it will run in background. You can observe the Docker running in background in this taskbar tray pop up. So, to run any Docker command in our local system, it Docker desktop application should be running. So, that's all about installing the Docker desktop application. Once the Docker desktop application has been installed, we need to know from the Redis. So Docker provides a Redis Im image. I have already explained you before. Every software it provides in Docker, we can call it as image. So go to Docker Hub. Docker Hub is nothing but a repository for all the images are uploaded for the docker developers here go to docker hub and uh, search for redis search for redis here you can see the all recommended images about the redis click on the top one official redis docker image this is the official redis docker image here is the command to pull the docker files docker redis image files into our local system 
just copy the command and open a command prompt and paste like this it will start pulling the all docker image files since i have already installed it is so quickly shown as output if you are newly installing it it will take one or two minutes so i have already installed it is nothing pulling from the docker hub so now i have a redis image docker image in my system so every image needs to be run once the image is running we can call it as a container so uh, now i need to start the redis docker container so so to run docker container here is the command line docker run hyphen name this flag is to specify the name for our container i am specifying it as redis container redis container so after the name hyphen e port uh, here one more thing we need to uh, remember is that docker container it will run on its own port like some default ports those ports cannot be directly accessed into our local application or system docker is running in our local system only but in its dockerized environment where its specific ports cannot be accessed by the outside outside application so we need to expose its port for that we will use hyphen port command i am going to expose its port for 5003 is my local port x3 79 is the default port for redis container with this x379 port redis will run inside of the dockerized environment to access it outside of outside application we are mapping the port x379 to my custom port 5003 after that we can run it it as a background background by using the hyphen d which means detached modes and ready here i am specifying the name name of my image now docker starts to run the container for the ready image it's it will take some time here i am getting an error about iphone name sorry here we need to give double iphon before the name flag now run again you can see here my docker redis image redis container started running now to see the redis is correctly running we can use redis cli for that let's open another command prompt to run and to store some sample data uh, we can use redis cli command line interface command is like docker execute and it minus it my docker name redis container is redis hyphen cli it should show redis cli okay what okay container name is spelled mistake read type the command it is small c i have given capital one this is your line 
now it should start up yes our cla cla has been started now we can set see how intelligence is coming you can set key and its value and the expiration let me set some test data my name it is the key and its value my name, okay, my name. let's run it let's get that one so here okay it is showing successfully saved to the redis store now get come and the my name that's it. We are successfully able to run the Redis from access the red, communicate with the Redis Docker image using the CLI. So, and that's it. You can use this application, uh, this Docker container image to communicate with your server side application like .NET or Java. But while you are configuring, you should configure your port name as 5003. You should not give this default. You should not give this default Redis port number. Uh, one more thing here I want to mention. If you try to run create, uh, try to create the same container name. Uh, try, try to start a redis container with same name it will throw a error because that all that redis container name is already has been used by any means if you stopped the redis container or you want to run the already created containers you have a command like open new command prompt now you, have, you don't have any Containers and you want to start the already created a Redis container for that. Use command like Docker dot your container name. My container name is Redis container. That's it. It is started, and again you can come start communicating with the Redis store. Uh, again, you can start communicate with the Redis store. Uh, that's a, that's it. I hope this video gives some useful information about uh, running the Redis container, Redis Docker container. If you have any suggestions or any topics you want to you want me to you want me to explain, please comment in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit on the subscribe button thank you